Hello friends, welcome to channel 11. Today I am going to explain about the Fiddler tool. Mostly it is help, helpful for us to identify the request and response details. And at the same time, it is useful for intercept the request details and as well as response details from the server. So, so uh, at present it's not capturing any network traffic and at the same time not i'm not also running any website from in my machine so if you want to start capturing the details in left in left most down you need to click once so once you once you click this there is one icon will appear here and its text is showing capturing it meaning that it's it started capturing so let me open in my browser so once i once i started once i open the browser and if i go to fiddler so these these are the network traffic happening at present in my machine so it is capturing all the all the network traffic what is the protocol and as result and host who, what is the host and the corresponding url let me go and open one of the particular website the hindu it is the news channel and newspaper as well if, if you see my fiddler tool so if you see the particular it is started capturing the uh, traffic related to hindu so this is the request section this is the response section so we have particular tabs so i will uh, open, I will explain about these tabs in soon. See here, this is the response uh, we got from the server. So, so, some CSS issue, that's why we are not able to see properly. So, this is the actual response we got from the server. So, it has captured the response as well, request and response as well. So, at present, it's, ca it's capturing all network traffic. So, if you want to limit only particular uh, website only, so you don't want to capture a complete network traffic we have the option called filters in filter you can mention a target website and we have only show following the hosts so you can uh, mention the which which website you want to see the traffic network traffic so so here you can utilize this option other than uh, uh, capturing uh, all network traffic you can use this option to limit the traffic so uh, let me delete existing one you can control a and delete del so all information uh, so it, it got cleared and let me close this one also so now we are now so this is how it will work so uh, fiddler tool so as a part of development suppose we want to see the what is the request object or response object uh, related to your uh, your development we can we can easily using this tool we can easily able to see and intercept also you can update the uh, request uh, 
on details as well as response details. So for development purpose it is most useful and very helpful for us to uh, while developing. So I have one website, I have developed one website. This is called Fizzbuzz Solution. Let me stop Fitler for now. I will come back here again. Let me explain about this functionality. What the basic functionality for this is it will accept only 1000 numbers, 1 to 1000 numbers. Let me open, you can easily get what I am saying. So it will accept only uh, 1000 numbers. So, if, so if we let me enter 100 and click the submit. So which whichever is number divided by 3 and 5. Suppose if number is divided by 3, it will return fees. Suppose if number divided by 5, it will return buzz. Suppose if the number is divided by 3 and 5, it will return fees and buzz. That is the, it is very simple functionality. So which I am using for a demo purpose. So this is the website which I am running. Uh, I will use for uh, using Fiddler. How, how, how I am going to intercept these details. Let me go the Fiddler tool. And as I mentioned in, in previous. So I, I, I want to capture only particular website. So I will do my local my Fizzbuzz solution URL here. This is my local host IP address. So once I done this and let me close and open it again. Present so let me start capturing at present nothing is running from my my system that's why it is not showing anything let showing anything here let me go and run my website so i have i have i have given a filter to only capture but but uh, related this website only so that's why I'm not getting any other information. So if you observe here, so since my I have mentioned uh, filter my website, CT so started capturing the details. Here. So so it is done. So since 2000, it's not successful. Let me open my website. This is the request information here. So if you text view, at present is nothing. Web also nothing. There is no any request details. That's why it is showing empty. Let me come and and see if you see headers. This is the header information. Uh, what is the length and what is the status and if you see text view this is the text view with a response I got from the server if you see here please enter the value if you go here this is the response so it got captured here in text view you can see you can see uh, that information and if you go to web view so this is the response so if you see this response and this response is same it got captured fiddler to got captured this information so in text view we can see as a text way text in text mode if we go to syntax view it is showing as an html so it is easy for us to understand so let me 
so you can understand right what is the how it is getting captured in the details so was in development what is the response is getting from the server following the tabs we can able to identify suppose until here we are fine so we can uh, able to see the traffic between uh, this website what is the request and what is the response now uh, suppose if you want to intercept the, your request before going to server you want to uh, add some more values and you want to see what is the exact request it is coming and if you want uh, if you want to update those it will it can possible in filter so for that we there is one uh, command called bpu bpu so what is the use of this command is it will put put, put the breakpoint before request going to server it will put the breakpoint for you so use it so using that we can able to intercept the request and and we can update the details and you can proceed for the submit request so to put the breakpoint we need to run this command bpu space and your website so once you run the, this command it's ready to put the breakpoint for the request before going to server so now already run this one let me refresh it again so once i hit the f5 so hit uh, hit so breakpoint has come and now so we have the two option here so break on response run to complete now i will put the run to complete this first time so there is no any request is at this time so that's why it's all are empty so this is the response i have got so i will show you what is the breakpoint uh, for the response so i will show you in soon so this is the response if you want to see in web view so we have option this is a web view for the response so let me go and add some input let me go and add uh, value so i have added 100 and and try to submit the request so once i hit the submit so since i put the breakpoint it got stopped here let me see the what is the uh, request i am passing header is so if you want to see the what is the header details are going you can find those details here in text view since i see uh, since in text box i have given the input value is 100 so you can observe here the the same so you can see that the request information input value as a text view you can see same way we can also see in, in a syntax view and on a web form so input value body so i'm passing uh, uh, the request as in body so that's why it is showing input value so if you have any cookie you can see here raw data this is the raw data so if you have any json the json details will appear here so if you have any json request in xml if you have any so these are all the request details we can find here at present this is the value i have given in the text box for the and hit the submit this is the request i am sending to server suppose if you want to intercept these details and you have to you need to give some unwanted information so like this i am giving so this is this not at all valid information so i have intercept the input value with this details and i am saying run to complete
let me go and run it the request got succeeded and i have got the response also let me go and see here if you observe here see so user has given the uh, uh, enter the value as 100 but in between using fiddler i have intercepted request i have i have updated the details like this this how we can intercept the request in intercept the request you can update the details in using fiddler let me go one more time and let me give some uh, invalid information so minus is not really uh, is not integer so it should throw an error let me go and hit, i hit the submit let me go and intercept the details so now i will give valid data here 100 so uh, since uh, uh, so user has given minus 1 but i have intercept value with the positive number and i hit the run to comment let me go and see what is the response I got. Actually, I should get error saying minus one is a valid number. Since I have intercepted the details and I have modified the details, I get the proper values. Uh, hello. Yeah, you, now you have seen how to intercept the request and how to update the values. In Fiddler, so now I will. Uh, so if you want to stop the breakpoint, you just need to remove this uh, URL and hit the enter. So the breakpoint won't occur again. So I want to stop the breakpoint. If you see submit again, you observe there is no breakpoint here. Now we can uh, so until now I explained how to intercept the request. So now we can, I will see how to intercept the response. So whenever we start getting the response, we need to we need is this is the command using this command whenever the request coming to the client. It will get stopped so we can update the details so so, so that uh, we can able to uh, we can able to update the response so let me go and hit, uh, hit the submit now if you see here it gets stopped so this is the this is the response I am getting from the server so here let me update the values please enter the value i have so i have updated the um, header with request update so so if you see here web view pre, pre it was please enter the value now i have updated the value please enter value request update so let me complete this one so my request my response got my request got succeeded so let me go and view the, so you see this so it, i may i may successfully update the uh, response so user expected the value please enter the value but i have updated the response with request update let me go one more time and update the now this time i will just to uh, update these values fizzbuzz so let me go and in header in text view or in syntax view anything you can see in syntax view and so this is the response getting from the server and now i am going to 
add the pipe symbol here not pipe, pipe symbol so now one two three I, am, I have updated the response in three place with these three pipes pipes so let me go and complete complete this and if you observe here so I have successfully updated the intercept the response and I have added these values so this way we can update the response using fiddler so okay this time I will completely remove the response and to complete you see yes there is no result at all I I completely remove the response object so user can't see anything I hope you understand the how to use the fiddler tool using this how to see the request and response de traffic details at the same time uh, we also seen how to uh, update the request as well as response using fiddler tool thank you very much thanks for your time